What's up guys, welcome back, so welcome back to another video, and in today's video we are back with the F30 transformation, trying to make this thing pretty sick in less than a week or two, so in today's video I want to start converting the rear end, I want to put on the GTS tail lights, I want to put on the uh, new M Sport rear bumper, the 335i carbon fiber diffuser that we ended up picking up as well, and then I would put on the trunk spoiler, but we are going to be wrapping the car, so there's honestly no point to do that, we'll do that after we wrap the car, something I absolutely hate with F chassis and even E chassis is the stock bumpers for me really just don't cut it, <laughs> It just really doesn't. So this M Sport bumper is going to truly transform the rear end of this car. And then we also have that beautiful carbon fiber diffuser. I don't really like how the 320, it has two small tips right there. Like I even thought about just doing the diffuser with the 320, but it just doesn't look right. I like the two bigger tips on each side regardless. I even did this on my E chassis as well. I just think it looks so much more proportional and it just looks a lot better. So that's what we're going to end up doing with that diffuser. I and mean, that's why we actually got a 335i exhaust as well. So it's going to look super sick on here. And I almost forgot, we're actually putting on the side skirts of today's video as well. So actually, we're doing the full M Sport kit by the end of this video, which is gonna be pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. This car honestly is gonna be complete in a week or two, which is gonna be pretty insane. Um, some good news though that I want to kind of fill you guys in on um, is the shop. So the shop is something I've been looking into for a very, very, very long time and trying to get one that's permitted for the thing that I'm trying to do. And long story short, I finally have an appointment to go view one. Um, it's currently occupied, but the person is gonna be leaving soon. Um, so I get to take over that spot, which is very, very exciting. So I'm gonna try to shoot like a videotape on my camera. I don't want to make the lease owner uncomfortable in any way possible. Um, I'm lucky to just get the shop. I mean, a lot of other people I'm sure want it. So uh, yeah, I just want to get the shop and as long as he's happy, as long as I'm happy, uh, we can start moving forward with our lives and bigger goals and bigger dreams. And I'm just going to tell you all, like, this is something that I'm very, very excited about, very passionate about, mainly because we can start doing crazier things more often. YouTube will not be my only income anymore, which should be very, very important for me because I'm not going to lie, guys, when I have to do things behind the scenes, when I have to sell cars all the time, um, it just gets kind of annoying because I, get, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really get to enjoy my cars, but I have to sell them um, to make more content. Like, that's just how it goes. I don't, I'm not really the kind of person to go recklessly drive and drift and, you know, put on turbos and just go race people for pinks. I don't do that kind of stuff. I don't really break the law. So for me to make content after owning a car, it's very, very, very difficult. But, but there's a lot of cars that I've built in the past that I was like, man, I wish I could keep. So uh, long story short, by doing this business, I'm able to keep the cars, at least some of the cars um, that I've built and I get to enjoy them. Um, and I think that's just very, very, very important. But without further ado, guys, hopefully as soon as I get an update on that shop and as soon as I get a video of that shop, I'm hoping it'll be for the next video for you guys because um, I do have an appointment today at 12 to go check it out. But without further ado, guys, I want to go ahead and start transforming this thing because I feel like it's just going to make this car 10 times better. I don't know why I love this car, but F chassis, they just, they, for the money, again, for the money, for 6,500 bucks, this is a lot of car for 6,500 bucks, and I love it. It drives amazing, fuel economy is amazing, um, and just making it look super sick, especially the Raptor we're going with, we've never actually done it before. It's going to look super sick. I'm so, I'm just, I'm excited for it. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and start piecing it together. So this is the next day and honestly it got really cold yesterday so I decided to hop inside kind of early and unfortunately it got cold again today. <laughs> so anyways, at this point we do have the taillights off the car. We also need to remove this. I'm not really too sure what this is exactly but uh, there is a sensor on it. We do need to remove this bracket. When you actually purchase the M Sport rear bumper from Keys Motorsports as well, it comes with a new M Sport bracket as well. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer that over to here, remove this and just button up everything else. Thank you. 
So before actually installing the bumper, I'm actually gonna be installing this carbon fiber diffuser onto the bumper first. Again, this is the 335 dual exit um, diffuser. We do have the original 335i uh, diffuser right over there that's made out of plastic. This was made out of carbon fiber. We definitely wanna rock this. Um, but the thing is about carbon fiber, the tabs when you actually put them in, uh, they don't actually sit in all the places at once because as soon as you start moving the bumper and there's some flex with the bumper, um, plastic there's flex to it. Carbon fiber, uh, no flex. If you try to flex the carbon, it will crack. So the best way to actually put on this diffuser um, is actually drilling a very small hole in all of these tabs right over here and then putting a zip tie straight through when you actually get it through this side. I'll show you guys when I actually get it fully installed. That's just what I found to be the best way um, to install a carbon fiber diffuser and make sure it doesn't actually come off your bumper at any point. So we got this rear bracket on there that holds all the sensors and the, the comfort axis and all that good stuff. So that is good to go right there. Now in terms of the bumper, as you guys can see, I'm putting it now on its front face and it's flexing on both sides because this is a plastic bumper. But because I actually put zip ties behind the carbon fiber diffuser, it's actually not popping off on either side. It looks super good. And you can't even see the zip ties, which makes it absolutely perfect. You could use screws, but I just figured zip ties works best for me. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go ahead and put on these side markers just yet, mainly because I wanna be able to wrap in there first and then I'll put on the side markers and that will cover up pretty much everything. It's gonna look absolutely perfect. I am super happy with the way this looks. This diffuser makes it look so much more aggressive. It's gonna look so much more aggressive as well with the AFE exhaust. Speaking of exhaust, we're gonna have to cut off the OEM exhaust right now because I don't even think I can mount the other bumper until this OEM exhaust gets dropped. So uh, I need to figure out where exactly I need to cut it so we don't have to take it to the exhaust shop to put on the new one because the new one actually comes with this like little adapter that allows us to pretty much just screw on this exhaust if we cut the other exhaust right. So I need to go ahead and do some measurements to figure out exactly where I need to cut. I think that's the pipe I'm going to be using. It's pretty much routed like the OEM route. So I'm going to go ahead and just honestly, I'm going to cut a little more extra on the car just so we're safe and I can always cut a little off later. Um, so then we can actually install this in our garage and we don't have to take it to any special exhaust place and pay two, three hundred dollars just to get this thing installed. So based off of this exhaust, as you guys can see, that pipe pretty much goes all the way back to the resonator. So to be safe, I'm gonna give it like half a foot, uh, but just because that thing pretty much lines up right against the resonator, but I don't think that's supposed to be like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it like half a foot or a foot off the resonator, and then we're gonna go ahead and get our sawzall and cut that bad boy off. All right, guys, so we just got the stock muffler on. This thing is a big boy. That thing's kind of crazy. But anyways, we have the bumper right over here with the diffuser. It looks so good from this angle as well. That just looks, oh, so nice. And I forgot to click the record button, but <laughs> the bumper is finally on there. Check out that fitment, guys. Like I said, with Keys Motorsports products, you really can't beat it in terms of fitment. And just check out that rear diffuser, guys. Once you actually get the side markers on there, the exhaust on there, it's gonna look stupid good, but it's already looking so much more aggressive. I honestly can't help myself. As soon as I get a non-M Sport car, the first thing I have to do with each chassis and F chassis is do the M Sport conversion. The G chassis doesn't look too bad with non-M Sport, but the E and the F, they just need M Sport kits. Like, it really transforms the car, especially when we're missing those side skirts, about to slap on here in a minute. But uh, bada bing, bada bang, let's just go ahead and get all the screws in there. And honestly guys, a few days later, we are officially full M Sport. <laughs> That's all it takes. 
We have the M Sport rear bumper. We got the M Sport side skirts looking really fine right over there. You really can't see like the definition and the shape just yet. Until we wrap it, you're gonna be able to see like the true difference. And then obviously you got the front M Sport bumper. Once again, once you wrap everything, it's gonna look so, so, so good. We also got the M3 style fenders. Um, that's not really M Sport, but I kind of want to differentiate this a little bit away from an M Sport. And I read the comments in all my videos, guys. And one of you guys, which I don't understand why you even commented this saying, hey, why are you trying to be a fake M3? If I was trying to be a fake M3, I'll put on an M3 rear bumper, M3 uh, front bumper, and M3 side skirts. This is an M Sport kit. I just think the M3 style fenders look way better than stock. So at this point, we have an M Sport Sportline F30. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and actually install the tail lights because, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna truly transform the rear end of this car. Plus, that is a rear end video, so I want to get a good thumbnail of the rear end. We got the diffuser, we got the bumper, we got the side skirts. Let's go ahead and get these blacked out GTS tail lights on this F30. Um, second thought, I'm actually not gonna put on the tail lights right now because it says the wrap is coming in tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. So I don't really want to put on the tail lights right now because we're gonna if we put on the tail lights, we're gonna have to take it back off to wrap the trunk. We're gonna have to take it back off to wrap the bumper in the quarter panel. There's really no point to put on the tail lights right now, um, even though I really want to see those GTS tail lights and complete the rear end. But like the carbon fiber spoiler, we're gonna do that after we actually wrap this stuff in the rear. Um, so in the meantime, stuff I'm looking at right over here, we have a strut brace. Um, this we can actually put on right now. This is the Keys Motorsports strut brace. And then we also have a caliper paint kit. This is something I actually just kind of want to test out. Um, they have quite a few colors. Like it should have a color thing. Like yeah, right up here. I went ahead and chose black mainly because um, again, I want something subtle with the wrap that I'm going with. It's just gonna be kind of a classy wrap. Uh, so I don't really want anything like red or blue or anything popping like that. Um, if the car was black, you know, the way it is and I was gonna keep it black, um, I would have went with something more popping, maybe a yellow or something. because. I like yellow and black, but yeah, I got the black kit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that in today's video as well, just so we can knock that stuff out. Um, so yeah, first things first, let's go ahead and get the car back up, get the wheels off, clean those calipers and paint them. This kit's actually brush on uh, paint, so it's gonna make it super easy to do. We don't have to do a bunch of masking. We don't have to worry about a bunch of, uh, you know, clear coat and all that other stuff. You literally just put on this product and then you're graving the navy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this off real quick, just to, you know, the best of my ability and just make it to where the paint can uh, stick onto it a little better. Honestly, at this point, we're pretty much ready to paint. I just really want this thing to kind of stand out. This looks kind of ugly, especially on a 328. You have an ugly looking caliper, ugly looking rotor. Um, it's not even drill slot or anything cool like that. Like nothing here is cool. So if we can at least get this thing kind of blacked out, I think it'll look pretty cool. Um, something at least in this section will kind of stand out. I was thinking about putting some kind of like M badge on here or something that shows like M performance or M sport package, but it's not. So <laughs> this is just the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie. Guys, you know, I just realized it does come with pretty much everything you you need to uh, <laughs> paint your calipers. It actually comes with a brake cleaner. These bad boys are expensive. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna use this on the fronts, but yeah, I mean, it already comes with brake cleaner. Uh, does it actually come with, imagine masking tape as well. It'd be kind of crazy. It doesn't, it doesn't. But I mean, that, that, you don't really need masking tape. You have a brush. I mean, how, how are we gonna mess this up? So yeah, it does come with pretty much everything you need to do your caliper. You don't have to buy anything else other than tape, apparently. So yeah, that was my mistake, but uh, I'll use this on the front. It'll make life a whole lot easier over there. In the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead, dump this in here. Bada bing, bada bang. Got a little uh, thing right here to mix it up, and then we got a brush, and that's pretty much it. That's all there really is to it. So now that the rears are done, guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump to the fronts, but uh, I guess we'll give it its first startup with no muffler. Hopefully I don't melt anything because uh, last time I did this and I took it out for like a crazy spin in the 135, I actually melted off the plastic things that hold off the bumper to the point where the bumper kind of fell on the ground. Obviously we're just starting it up. I'm just not gonna give you guys any revs because I don't wanna melt anything, but uh, yeah. Cold startup on an F30 328. M Sport Sportline. <laughs> The front calipers are bigger, so the black calipers should stand out a lot more. It 
And guys, hours later, full M Sport kit, carbon fiber ready to fuse it, chopped off the muffler, painted the calipers black. I will show you guys the calipers a little bit when I actually get the car outside. The car is absolutely filthy, the wheels are filthy. I cannot wait to actually give this thing a wash. But honestly, again, I don't want to drive it until we get the muffler back on the car, uh, the AFE one, and then honestly wrap it and then get it all fully washed at the, the power wash place in McBobber. In the meantime, though, I want to install one more thing today since we're knocking out so much stuff, and I want to install the strut brace. That's something that I'm very, very excited about. I haven't honestly installed a strut brace in a, in a very long time and uh, this car doesn't come with any strut brace from the factory So for those of you guys who have an f3328 and uh, want to do some things to make the car feel more refined and just uh, You know just just better. This is one of those mods I mean, let's be honest We can't really push much power on this thing But if it could feel better when driving why not do that? So I actually have an idea on this strut brace I actually put either like natty something or nor or something on it uh, That'd be kind of cool. So we're gonna open up the engine bay. You're gonna see like a sick decal on it so i'm still thinking about what exactly i should put on the strut brace you guys can let me know down below maybe save a bmw on there or something like that let me know what i should put exactly on that strut brace that'd be kind of cool even if it's a funny meme or something like that but i definitely want to put something on there so anyways let's go ahead pop the hood and get this bad boy installed because uh, i think it's the final mod for today and uh, your boy's starving and guys it's just so crazy to say like a couple years ago i would be literally making one mod per video because that's like all that i could honestly manage to do uh, but it's crazy that nowadays we're able to knock out so much stuff in one video. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of mods in one video. But I mean, it's just, I'm blessed. And I have a lot to thank for these blessings. But I can just start off with thanking you guys at least. I appreciate y'all so much. I just realized you don't even have to remove any of this stuff back here. It's literally just the two bolts up here. At least now you guys know the difficulty level of installing a strut brace is little to none. That thing will literally take you less than five minutes to install. That's pretty sick. This engine bay definitely needs a detail, but check that out. That looks so sick. Once we actually get all this stuff cleaned up, this strut brace will uh, look a lot better with the rest of this. But I mean, hey, that is the first engine bay mod. At the same time, you can't get dinged for that in California. So. Huge plus, huge plus. All right, guys, so honestly, that's gonna conclude it for one day. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video with a cinematic. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay on boss you on the next one. Peace out. By the way, next video, hopefully, we'll be seeing the rap reveal.